My name is John Shearer, and I'm a photographer. I was probably about 11, and, uh, you know, I had gotten a little brownie Hawkeye camera, uh, I guess for Christmas or my birthday, and I just took it everywhere. I just loved to take pictures. And, uh, you know, it wasn't until years later that I could actually develop or print them, but I just carried the camera everywhere, taking pictures of all kinds of stuff. One of the things that my father was very clear about was uh, if you want to, you got to go for it, but you got to love it, you know? I mean, it's got to be something that you have to do. And uh, so he was always very encouraging. One day you're riding your bicycle and the next day, you know, you're across the hall, neighbors, Alfred Eisenstadt, you know? <laughs> I had never traveled very much and now I was, you know, traveling 25 days a month and going to places I had never been. And, you know, my mantra was always, you know, you gotta come back with the pictures. I mean, at the end of the day, that's all I cared about. So often people didn't know initially before, they, before I got there that I was black. They would hear the name John Shearer and they wouldn't know, you know, A, that I was so young and B, that I was black. And, uh, you know, people either loved you or hated you, depending on who you were covering. You know, covering King's funeral, covering the Kennedy funeral, being inside at Attica, you know, and staying in. You know, when they came in to retake the prison, the guards came in to retake the prison. I guess those were the more meaningful shoots of my life. You know, and they made a lot to me, and I was aware when I was doing them that they would be important. The pictures are different now. My pictures are more abstractive, more fine art. Um, you know, and I, and I care a great deal about, you know, that direction, the current direction. But I, I just love to take pictures, you know. Yeah, I always will.